There isn't a whole lot of appreciation in the world for the pesky ski trash eating critters we call raccoon but put just about any animal in a life-threatening situation and amazingly humans show an incredible capacity to band together and love the heck out of it. on June 12 2018 Minnesota Public Radio reporter Tim Nelson on the left broke a story that would send the cities of Minneapolis and st. Paul into a collective frenzy something he tweeted was happening on a 7th Street office building on a second story ledge looming over a truck docking bay a raggedy brown raccoon was curled up helplessly on the concrete but this was no simple story of a raccoon out of place this poor raccoon apparently got itself stranded on a ledge of the town square office building in downtown st. Paul Tim wrote likely on an errant mission to raid pigeon nests on the Skyway over 7th Street it's been there for two days now without food or water immediately the internet was abuzz with sympathy some wondered why no one had tossed the raccoon some food others suggested running water down the ledge so the little lady had something to drink with what would become known as the MPR raccoon now the center of the public's attention building maintenance workers launched a rescue effort so what was their proposed solution to the raccoons predicament it was a handmade ramp the maintenance men clumsily hoisted it up towards the second floor ledge and the raccoon an independent mammal who clearly didn't want help from anyone skittered away then she made a crowd shocking decision the raccoon started to climb with her sharp claws designed to scurry up tree trunks she dug into the side of the squat downtown building and ascended skyward making her situation much to the dismay of her ever-growing fan club far worse the raccoon made it to the top of the two-story building with impressive ease but instead of waiting patiently on the roof for rescue she then approached an adjacent building it was the UBS Plaza and it was 25 stories tall within moments the raccoon was five stories above the ground a mistake on her part now meant a long fall and an ugly demise the people on the streets and at home following this raccoon's journey had reached peak distress I'm stressed about a lot of unknowns one Twitter user in Washington DC wrote I'm crying about a raccoon trapped on a ledge of a building in Minneapolis would anyone be able to help the critter before disaster struck well the starving raccoon made the situation worse by doing what she was apparently absolutely fiending to do she kept climbing she went from the fifth story to the tenth to the 23rd surely she was exhausted at that height the now famous raccoon naturally became a bit tired and she took a nap she just seemed sweet and cute and very mellow said an employee of the office on the 23rd floor but cute and mellow wasn't going to bring this gale to the ground many animal control companies suggested the raccoon would eventually just climb down herself but her fans weren't so sure she'd have the strength they desperately tried to find other solutions unfortunately the windows of the UBS Plaza building were sealed shut so an open and grab operation was out of the picture making matters more complicated no one quite knew how the raccoon would react if someone approached her a hungry thirsty and frightened raccoon would probably think a leap from the ledge was her best option officials went to the UBS roof and set up a raccoon buffet hoping to entice the hungry animal all the way to the top of the building they set up a humane trap filled with cans of wet cat food which evidently is cream of the crop for raccoons all they could do was wait when the raccoon awoke from one of her naps she smelled the savory cat food waiting for her on the roof but strangely she didn't keep climbing up as she'd been so enthusiastic to do instead she frustratingly went back down to the 17th floor those following the raccoons ascent and descent could hardly handle the drama any longer Twitter users so badly wanted this raccoon to find safety that they were entering various states of mental decay at about 2 35 a.m. on June 13th five hours after her descent to the 17th floor the raccoon though she seemingly lived for it couldn't handle any more drama at long last she started climbing up towards the cat food again mercifully the good news arrived later that morning the man who broke the story Tim Nelson tweeted top floor office says UBS building management has told them the raccoon formerly in their window has been trapped in the early morning Sun the Wildlife Management Services charged with rescuing the now beloved raccoon collected the cage superstar cameras rolled for the moment capturing what seemed like the most anticipated event in the city's history people across the globe rejoiced someone texted me this morning said st. Paul mayor Melvin Carter and wrote we needed this win 
Another NPR raccoon lover summed up everyone's feelings with a photoshopped image of the raccoon as Time's Person of the Year. And while that may have seemed like goofy hyperbole, this was just an ordinary raccoon. The Time magazine image captured perfectly the unifying power that a story like this one had on people. In other words, if anyone tries to tell you that humanity is made up of pessimistic misanthropes, just remember the time thousands of people banded together to root for the survival of a wayward raccoon. Just watch the NPR raccoon settling on a ledge after a long day's climb. It was one of the cute actions she took that endeared her to the world. What a special moment this raccoon created for everyone. The NPR raccoon has touched the hearts of people across the country and proved that when it comes to animals, humans have an incredible capacity to set aside their differences for hope.